Oh no! If you take a pickup truck and remove the differential ring gear and replace it with a 3D printed ring gear, will it still work? Will the plastic hold up or will it just break? Let's find out. Let's talk about this replacement gear. This one is the original and it's painted because I tried to 3D scan it but it ended up not working anyways. And this is the one that we made. The original gear that was on here had threaded holes, which we discovered were left-handed fine threads. So I decided instead to swap out the original bolts and use these. If you look around the inside of this, you can actually see that there are matching nuts embedded into this part. These actually can't be removed without destroying this part. And this was done by telling the printer to pause at a height of 17 millimeters, removing the part from the printer, hammering nuts in, and then placing the part back on the printer, rehoming and resuming the print. And now it has embedded nuts in it. For those of you who are familiar with 3D printing, you probably also noticed by now that this isn't your typical 3D printing filament. This gear was printed in carbon fiber nylon, or Matter Hackers Nylon X. I chose to use this material because it has the strength of nylon, <laughs> But because of the chopped up carbon fibers, it's not flexible like nylon. It's a very strong and stiff material. It was also really important to me that we made this a very stiff material because I didn't want to worry about the ring gear teeth being flexed right out of the way by the pinion gear. Speaking of Nylon X, that brings me to today's sponsor, Matter Hackers. Matter Hackers isn't just an online store where you can buy 3D printers, parts, and exotic filaments. They're also well known within the 3D printing industry for their excellent customer service free shipping within the US and their technical guides that even I have found very useful. If you're looking to get some Nylon X for yourself, there's a link in the description that won't cost you any extra, but will help the channel out. So thank you. Let's get to the fun part. It's time to install this thing. All right, let's uh, crank this thing up. It runs. said that I pulled this off the printer at 17 millimeters and put the nuts in it well I feel like this is about the 17 millimeter mark because you can see the nuts inside there so let's JB weld this back together you think we can yeah covered in uh, WD-40 <laughs> no, no, we gotta take it back out son of a bitch we could just go with the answer no you want to JB weld it back together I'm sure it was your WD-40 that wrecked it are you serious? Let's do it then, I guess. All right, so here is the carnage. You notice here the pinion gear actually pushed my plastic in where my model was a little bit wrong. And uh, everywhere else, the gear tooth looks pretty good. But the real problem was twofold. Uh, one, because I told it to pause at 17 millimeters so I could put these bolts in, that allowed the part time to cool down so that this layer didn't adhere very well to it. And the other issue was is that when I put it back on the build plate, and you'll see this in the time lapse, uh, this layer wasn't fully compressed like it should have been onto this layer. So uh, twofold issue, but we're gonna try to JP weld this thing back together and see if we can get it working. Because it has such a nice surface to attach JB Weld to, as long as we can get all of this oil off of it. So we're gonna try that and see if that works. Okay, so the JB Weld is set. Uh, you can see I got some really good application all around here. Pretty good all around here. 
and uh, a few little rough spots like this one. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's not exactly centered, but it's pretty close. And hopefully this fixes my layer delamination issue. So crossing my fingers. We're just gonna throw this thing in and save you guys the pain of watching us install it again. So, boom. All right, so we got the uh, JB Welded differential in place and now we are going to try it. So hopefully this works. Yep. Yep. All right, it's time we go for a drive. You think it'll work? Yep, let's go for a ride. Uh, maybe a good idea to let it wear in a little bit more. We're going to let it wear in a little bit for just a few minutes, and then we're going to try to go for a drive. So, crossing my fingers that this will work. Okay, so uh, it broke along our JV weld, which sucks. Uh, looks like a little bit of the JV weld is on each side, so I'd say maybe good application, but it still just didn't work. So here's what this gear looks like. You could tell the JV weld did attach to both sides because it stayed on one side, stayed on the other side somewhat. It just didn't stick very well. Uh, there's not many materials that will stick to nylon very well, so that's unfortunate, but yeah. So, to answer the question of, is it a good idea to replace your differential with a plastic differential? I think the answer is probably not. And uh, I feel like I haven't thoroughly represented the layer strength of this material because I paused the print. And I'm considering doing this again, but I'm going to need some encouragement from the audience. So, if you guys want to see me do this again, Without the nut inserts and custom threaded holes with a tap or something like that, let me know in the comments section and maybe I'll come back to this project. Until then, if you have any questions or suggestions for me, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to help my differential replacement therapy reach a broader audience, then hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Hey, thanks for watching.